Welcome back to another quick video and in this video I'm going to show you how I repair FRM modules. Alright, so this is the FRM um, tree and these modules are known to give light problem, window problem, door lock problem, etc. So um, let me just show you the connection and how I'm going to hook it up. Alright, so just identifying the pins and looking at the diagram. Here is our connection points. Okay. So I'm just going to make the connection real quick. As you can see, everything is all hooked up. Let's go over to the programmer and show you how I read it and what software I use to read it and do the repair. Okay. So I'm using the CG100. And once you click on read, it's just going to read the EEPROM, delete the file that is bad, and just rewrite the correct file to it and save it automatically. And there you go. Just save the file. I'm just going to save it where I can remember it. I always save a backup of all the FRM modules that I've done. So this one is no different. Well, just for future reference. <clears throat> okay. So just save in the file. So I can remember exactly which module, which um, customer module it was. And just simply click OK. The program is now correcting the file. And that didn't take too long. <laughs> and that's it. Basically, that's how we repair the FRM module. Well, at least that's how I do it. There are different tools that do it and different methods to do it. But with this method, the vehicle doesn't require, the module doesn't require any additional coding. That is why I like to use this method. With some other tools or different methods, you have to code back the module all over again. So with this, this is a code-free method. So that's it. Have a nice one.